24 hour news source. This is WCBI News 4 Sunrise with Charlotte Steagle, Bill Gamble, and meteorologist Rob Smith. Welcome back to Sunrise. This is the final half hour of early mornings for Bill Gamble. Today, the Sunrise anchor, former sports guy, and midday co host is retiring. A couple of weeks ago, Bill sat down with former midday host Jeffrey Rupp at the guest room in Starkville to talk about Bill's four decades in the news business. Here's a look at some of that conversation. When I started, I worked, uh, well, I started in radio in 73. And I worked there for a year, and they opened up a new TV station in Selma. And so I went to work there, and my GM there was a guy named Tommy Bond. And after, I don't know, seven or eight years, he came to WCBI and became GM here. But after he'd been here for, I don't know, several months, he called me and asked me if I wanted to come work for him again here. And at the time, I was behind the scenes directing the news. So he had an opening for a director. At WCBI, so that's how I came here. I got out of the business for about five years. I worked at, at CBI from 80 to 81, and, uh, and then I was going to get back in it. So you I came were over. Chippendale, and then yeah, you exactly. Off to be Chippendale. And, uh, and I got too old for that, so <laughs> I wanted to get back into TV. So I knew uh, Wayne Robinson, who worked at Robertson, who worked at the station. So I came over at night and made an audition tape with Wayne. And uh, it just so happened that Frank Imes saw it, and he called me at home and asked me if I wanted to come over here and uh, do sports and midday with you. So how did he describe midday? He just said it's, uh, it's not your typical 12 o'clock newscast. It's a little off the wall, and uh, asked me if I wanted to be a part of something like that. I said, yeah. All right, so then you A little bit I know what, exactly what he was talking about, but yes. Yeah. Well, but you would have understand the, the sports gig pretty much speaks for itself. I mean, yeah. you, you know what that, that was like. Yeah. So what were your first couple weeks like on the set with Midday? Because you are sort of a, an introverted person, I and am. it was not an introverted type job. Exactly. And I think you found out just how introverted I was one of the first days I was on the air, because we had like two or three minutes to kill at the end of the show, and uh, we didn't have anything script. You asked me, what did I do over the weekend? And I said, nothing. It's exactly what you said, and we had more. We had more than two and a half or three minutes. I had missed time the show. We had four or five minutes, and I was racking my brain. What what could I talk about? And I ran through everything I had, and I thought, well, at least I've got a sidekick to save me. And so, Bill, what'd you do this weekend? Nothing. And you even not, thought about it. You even <laughs> actually thought about it before not, you threw not, me under the bus. Not nothing. What did you do? Just nothing. Yeah. <laughs> No, no, I, I was just honest to a fault, but I did not, nothing that past weekend. It just laid there. I mean, we, and we just died <laughs> that slow, horrible television death. That was funny. It, it's funny to me that as, as time went on, we both kind of actually looked forward to having two or three or four minutes to kill at the end of the show with nothing to talk about. Yes. Because we could just act stupid. Well, you played your strengths. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Again, that was our Bill Gamble reminiscing about the good old days with Jeffrey Rupp. We will have more well-wishing for Bill coming up. Stay tuned. More on Sunrise right after this. Different colored rainbow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I can see that. Yeah. All right. You can send in your sketch to P.O. Box 271 in Columbus Mills 39703. We'll take a break. Come back with more in just a moment. Don't go away. Welcome back to Sunrise. It is 634. This program, Sunrise, has been on the air for more than two decades. And throughout the years, the constant has been Bill Gamble. Here's a look at a conversation between Bill and former WCBI news director and midday host Jeffrey Ruff. Along came Sunrise. Mm -hmm. All right, and uh, uh, a bunch of us worked on. Uh, on birth and that baby, mm -hmm. but you were sort of you were the one that sort of held it all together on on air. What was that like? It, I enjoyed it. I mean, a girl named Charlotte Stegall and I were the two original anchors on the show. And in fact, the station even sent us to Atlanta to have a meeting with CBS to, to learn about morning news. And it's uh, people don't watch morning news like they do the rest of the news. It's more like uh, radio. They don't sit on the sofa and watch it. They, they listen to it while they're getting ready for work or school or whatever. So 
we kind of played to that. But it, yeah, I, I've enjoyed every minute of it. Welcome back to Sunrise. Some mornings the struggle is real. You get up in the middle of the night and drive in the dark, and sometimes unexpected things happen. Bill is no stranger to this. Here's what happened. You living in Columbus and having to do sunrise in, or living in Starkville and having to do sunrise in Columbus, tell them what a typical sunrise day was for you as far as when the alarm went off and what you had to do. Well, the alarm clock went off, it uh, still does on Mondays at 2 o'clock. And uh, I would leave the house about a quarter to 3, get to the station at 3.15, proofread everything and make whatever changes I needed to make. And of course, uh, Renee goes on the air at 4.30, I go on the air at 5. And there till 12.30. All right. So most of us fuss about traffic coming in during rush hour. You had a problem with wildlife. Yes, I did. I, I'm not sure if that happened between uh, Starkville and Columbus. I think it happened between Aliceville mm -hmm. and Starkville. I mean, Aliceville and Columbus. Yeah, I was running late for work one day, and um, I tend to get a heavy foot occasionally. So I was, uh, is, there any long, uh, there's no, is there a statute of limitation on speeding? It should be if you didn't kill anybody. I, I killed the deer. <laughs> that was about it. <laughs> Sometimes when you are running behind, Bill admits his foot would get a little heavy, and that didn't turn out so well. <laughs> Come on. Okay, I got stopped for speeding, and uh, this uh, state trooper politely let me go. He, he recognized me and uh, let me go with a warning. So I took off and let him get out of my rearview mirror and thought, man, I got to get to work. I'm late. So I upped the speed a little bit more, got lighted again. A different state trooper pulled me over. He also let me go. He recognized me. And uh, so I, same thing, I let him get out of sight and took off. And meanwhile, the first troopers or second trooper said, uh, guess who I just stopped? Took, caught talking with the other trooper. He told him and said, well, I've stopped him too. So the first trooper came back and gave me a ticket this time. <laughs> I'm not sure that's legal, but uh, he gave me one anyway. I think it's legal if they want to. <laughs> My goodness. Uh, uh, so I well, wonder I, how I, I'll admit I was yeah. absolutely really wrong. <laughs> when the first guy was nice enough to let me go, I should have just Slowed took it down. my medicine and said, well, I'm going to be late for work. Mm -hmm. You sure should have. No, I thought I could get away with it. So. Man, man. Paid the price. Oh. And I, I was totally in the wrong there. See, I thought stardom was, was supposed to get you off of things like that. It did that. twice, <laughs> and I was too dumb to take advantage of it. <laughs> okay. Well, word gets around when a broadcasting legend retires. In fact, they heard about Bill's retirement over at CBS. Here's what happened next. Hey, here's to Bill. Four decades in the field and at the desk, too. Mornings at WCBI just won't be the same without you. But we want you to enjoy your retirement, get all the sleep you want. Have a great day. First alert forecast with meteorologist Alex Puckett. We're still dealing with fog out there this morning. Not as bad as it was maybe an hour ago. We've seen some improvement uh, in these numbers at this point, but still some patchy dense fog and some spots could see visibilities below a quarter mile. So give yourself plenty of time on the roadways this morning. Temperatures sitting in the upper 40s to around 50, right at 50 at Amory 49 and Tupelo 48 in Starkville, as well as in West Point. Also sitting at more, uh, 49 in Columbus, Louisville, and in Macon, as well as Calhoun City. Temperatures going to climb to around 50 by 9 a.m., so we're going to be slow to see those temperatures climb, but we'll finally get into low 60s as we head into the <coughs> afternoon today. As we go through the next few days, rain chances return starting on Tuesday with the better chance coming Tuesday night into Wednesday. The system pushes off to our south and east, so we dry things out, at least temporarily, on Thursday. But another rain chance is going to return as we round out the week. We'll see uh, rain chances return as we head into Friday, Saturday, and Sunday with the best chance of rain coming on Saturday. Let's answer today's Spiller Furniture and Mattress Weather Quiz. Bill Gamble's WCBI on-air debut was June 23, 1986. What was the high temperature in Columbus that day? The answer, maybe you had to go back through your records here, 92 degrees. So it was a hot one to kick things off for Bill's career here at WCBI. And we are fortunate uh, at WCBI to have a, a fine broadcast meteorology program so close by at Mississippi State University. Over the years, quite a few talented young meteorologists got their start right here on WCBI Sunrise. And here's just a few. Bill, who has something to say to you. 
Hey, Bill Campbell, this is Wyatt Everhart, and you know, up here in Baltimore, Maryland, we're hearing that you're retiring down there. That's right, unbelievable. My first job on air was with you doing midday and the morning show as well. Congratulations on your retirement. Congratulations on an illustrious 40 year career in broadcasting, and good luck in retirement. Hey, Bill, it's been a few years. I want to wish you a happy retirement. Hey, Bill, Rich Words of Care. Worked with you and Andre yourself on Sunrise mid-2004 through mid-2006. Happy retirement. Hey, Bill. I heard that you are actually retiring this time. So I wanted to be sure that you knew just how much I enjoyed working with you for those two years on Sunrise and on Midday. Congratulations on a retirement well earned. Well, congratulations on retirement. Hopefully uh, you will enjoy not having to get up at some ungodly hour. So congrats again. You definitely deserve it and enjoy retirement. Even though the process did not stop when I moved to Greenville, South Carolina into enemy territory, it can't stop with your retirement either, so roll tide. I'll do this one time, one and only for you, since you are retiring. Roll tide! Welcome back. There have been many co-anchors along the way. Here's a message from one former Sunrise anchor, uh, Jillian, now anchoring mornings in Boise, Idaho. Congratulations, Bill, on your amazing career. I'm so happy I got my start working with you every morning. You are a WCBI icon, even though as humble as you are, I know you will never admit it. I learned so much from you that I'll always keep with me. Whenever a name I'm not sure how to say comes up in the prompter, I always hear your voice telling me, say it with conviction, and I don't think I'll ever ever live down how bad you beat me in that weather quiz. Gosh, I hope you love retirement and every day feels like TGIF, not TGIF, Eve, 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 Eve. Miss you so much. Happy retirement. And that was Jillian Griggs. Uh, I'm, I'm not the only one losing at weather quizzes either, so that's good to know, good to know. Uh, and then longtime friend and the COO of our parent company, Morris Multimedia, Bobby Berry, has these words for Bill. Yeah, Bill Gamble, in 1987, I called you, began to call you a friend. Uh, a friend that uh, got thrown off of a bucking bronco, a friend who's tried to save Jeffrey Rupp from Lord Humongous, a guy who says he can play golf, and I guess you can still play golf because you always seem to beat me whenever we play together, uh, and a guy that, you know, no matter what the people around the area said, was always an Alabama Crimson Tider. We love you. We appreciate everything you've done for WCBI because you are truly a friend to the people of North Mississippi and West Alabama. Thanks, Bill. Enjoy your final, final retirement. Enjoy it. Thank you. Now, after the break, we will chat with Bill one last time here on Sunrise. But first, here are a few words from the man himself. Well, my goodness, it impacted literally tens of thousands of people over the, the 40 years. And I'm not kidding. I mean, think about that. Literally tens of thousands of people early. When you're watching it early in the morning, you've got to want more than just the weather or the news. You've got to feel comfortable somewhere. You're, you're, you know, you got your pajamas on. you got sure. your kids around the, the breakfast table. And how does it feel to have just been not just accepted, but welcomed into homes all over the viewing area for decades? You know, it's an, it's an old cliche, and I hate to say it, but the old thing about if I can put a smile on one person's face every day, that's worth everything. And it, it's absolutely true. It well, means the world to me. Person that flew kites, if I remember correctly. I might have dreamed that, but... <laughs> you dreaming of Michelle? Is that what you're trying to say? Okay, let's get out of this, <laughs> Ooh. Let's get out of this conversation. Okay, right okay. Get back over here, yeah. Bill. I'm out. <laughs> I thought you left only with me, but no. you leave with everyone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Somebody says something I can't deal with, I'm out. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. I wasn't sure where they were going with that conversation. Oh, so my gosh. It's time for me to bail. That is so funny. I'm not going out on that limb with you. Okay. Well, anyway.
interesting. Time for the Mississippi Peanut Supply question of the day. That's right. We want you to write a message for our Bill Gamble, and we've got some comments going all morning long. That's right. Uh, Sandy Garner says, Mr. Gamble, you'll be missed dearly. Remember the times uh, of you and Jeffrey Rupp. Y'all were fun to watch. Hope you have a wonderful retirement uh, and you enjoy your time. Uh, Tillman Charles says, a happy retirement. And, of course, Roll Tide. Of course. Got to include that. Charlotte yeah, Rogers said he, uh, that uh, she's going to miss you, uh, you, Dennis Hudson, Jeffrey Rupp, and Brian Owen. She Owens. called you a gentleman? Look at that. <laughs> Such a gentleman. Well, she doesn't know me very well, does she? <laughs> uh, Angie Knowles says, FYI, I, or she says, I rather lived at a WCBI viewing area for many years. I've always enjoyed watching you and Jeffrey. Happy retirement. Melody Peters, it's been a pleasure watching you here on WCBI. Uh, Linda Chandler Johnson, Bill, may God bless, blessings continue to be upon you uh, as you enter into a new phase of your life. Emily Branton, congratulations and bestest, bestest, bestest. of wishes on your retirement and enjoyed watching you always. So, very nice. Yeah, very nice indeed. We're, we're going to miss you here. I we're definitely going to miss you. I, I do have to point out, I don't think you can necessarily see, but he's wearing a Christmas tie. He's been doing this all month. <laughs> But he's also got Santa golfing, so I think yeah. it's a uh, a Christmas slash retirement. I like yeah. it. Is I, what, is I, what I absolutely like it. And one thing that I enjoy about you is we would always sing during commercial breaks. People don't know, but <laughs> we'd get a song in our heads, and yeah. me and you would just sing, and Alex would just be like, okay. <laughs> uh, but that, that's one thing I'm really going to miss. You brought some joy. You brought some laughs, and you taught me to don't take myself so seriously. That's right. Just be myself. I'm going to miss those laughs. I want to thank both of you guys, and I want to thank all the viewers at home for welcoming in from sunri uh, Sunrise for the past 22 years. Thank you, everybody.